All right, so your girl came prepared this time. I definitely have a proper mask. Thanks, Rona, for the mask. Fixing rust problems. So I am about to try out this rust removing product. I picked it up from Home Depot and it was only like five or six bucks, but it's a gel. And this is the area that I need to address as well as another area in the bathtub. Cause I asked you guys what were some of the issues that you guys had with your bathrooms. And some of you told me rust. So I'm trying to see if we can get a solution for the low. So it says to remove the loose rust and dirt from surface. For heavily rusted areas, loosen the rust with a wire brush. That was this here. Liberally brush rust dissolver jelly over the surface. Wait 15 to 20 minutes. Rinse with clean water and allow surface to dry. Repeat if necessary. And then it says uh, to avoid rusting dry surface with clean cloth or place in a dry atmosphere. Paint or coat surface within 48 hours. Welcome, my name is Wayna and I make videos on rental friendly home decor. So if you have a ugly apartment that you want to spruce up and make it your home for the time being, then consider subscribing and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Also, in conjunction with this rental friendly bathroom series, I want to challenge you guys to spruce up your rental bathrooms. So make sure you check the description box. <sighs> Good morning, guys. Yesterday, I used the rust remover and I was very, very impressed. This area looks so much better. Yeah, this area looks so good. And I hated this for the longest. As mentioned before this is a series so if you didn't get a chance to see my flooring makeover video I will link it in the description box below change out your shower head all right so now I'm about to change out my shower head and I got this one from Amazon it's supposed to be like a rain fall shower head so I'm gonna change out the other one because one it leaks and that's causing the mold. Every time we turn the faucet off, it still has like a really slow drip. And then two, no matter how much I scrub, the uh, shower head, it has like this green film. I even did the vinegar trick where you put the vinegar in a bag and tie it up and it didn't work. So I'm gonna upgrade this shower head, put the old one somewhere where I can find it. So when it's time to leave, I'm taking my shower head with me. Replace bathtub fixtures. All right, so the maintenance man left and he came and changed out this drain cap as well as the faceplate 
And so pretty much everything is new because the last time he came, he changed out the faucet and he changed out the, uh, what is this called? The drain plug. And I don't know if you can tell the difference. This, these two columns here have been um, regrouted and then these have not. But I will say that having a new shower head, I don't have to worry about this thing dripping. And that was the source of a lot of the mold. That and the fact that I was keeping my bottles of soap around the tub. So now that I have my new shower caddy and my new shower head, and I pulled out all the old mold, I don't think I'm having a mold problem anymore. I think I'm good. So I'm gonna finish this side up and then this side back here and I'll be done. And I clean this, making money moves. Oh, and I'm gonna show you guys my other favorite hack also. All right, so current time is five o'clock and I started at nine o'clock, so I did shift. But um, this is what we're looking like. Everything has been grout it and I'm gonna let that set for a day. All right, so I'm back in the house and in the spirit of getting done, I'm gonna start on this shower rod. That made me ride. <laughs> so this is a curved shower rod and it is chrome. It is rust resistant. And so I figure I need to start buying stuff that is high quality because as you're gonna see, this rod that I'm gonna take down now is like really, really rusty. And yeah, just wanna have stuff that actually lasts. So this is the one that I picked up. Where did I pick this up from? Uh, I got this from Home Depot. Y'all like these too, it looks very, Fancy, very fancy schmancy. If you are renting, make sure you ask your landlord about the stuff you don't like first. And then of course, if they say no, you know, and it's an easy fix and the rent is affordable, then go ahead and fix it yourself. So I did get the stuff to fix the chip on the sink and the tub. So most of the grout lines aren't that bad, but where you see in this tub, where you see the darkness, that's actually the grout is missing. Let me see if you can see it really good. So it's not dirt. See, that's like hollowness. There's nothing there. So I need to, same with this one here. There's nothing there. Aw, my Mimi rod won't fit, y'all. All right, so actually I got that from Walmart and oh gosh, I can't stand taking stuff back to Walmart. Okay, so remember I pulled down the shower curtain? It was really rusty and I was gonna get another one. Well, that didn't work out, so I used the rust remover on the shower rod and it looks brand new. Let me show you. Add a light to your shower. Know what I got, know what I want. Boy, don't get me wrong. Sure, we're having fun. But it don't mean that I'm in love. I like you a lot. But you gotta step up. I'm through trying to tell you what to do. How to make me fall for you. You should learn that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest when there was no light to turn it off this is a depressing shower right here friend 
I got a happy shower now. Listen, this is only $20, but it make a big difference. I just want to see how this, this silicone tape is going to hold up. It should be good, though. Okay, I am absolutely in love with this new light. And what I realized is that when I go to hotels, like really nice, four or five star hotels, they all have beautiful glass. I can't do that here. But one thing that they do have that I can get is functional lighting. They don't just have lighting where you have your mirror. They also have lighting in the shower. And I don't like taking dark showers. I like light to be everywhere. And I found this really cool outdoor light. It allows you to adhere it using screws. So you can adhere the light using screws or using tape and this stuff is super strong. But what I like about it is it's removable. So it does use AAA batteries, three of them to be exact. And you can go ahead and change the batteries when you need to. It's okay for the shower because it's the outdoor light and it just makes a big difference. So right now, I'm going to show you what the bath, this is the bathroom with both of the lights on. This is, you know, the lights above the mirror. So if I turn it off, it's still light. Oh, that wasn't a good, okay, here, this is one light, the light in the shower. This is both lights. Okay, but when I turn it off, I still have light in here. So now, the tub has lights, and I love it! There's light in the shower! bomb.com see and you just pull it out and pull it back push it back in if you don't feel comfortable with the man on tape um, you can just put some screws in there and the good thing about the ceiling is you can just you know cover the little hole and paint it white again but this is such a dream I've been wanting a light in the shower for so long Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope this video illustrates that there's some small things that you can do in a rental bathroom or non-rental bathroom to really create the space that you absolutely love and I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite hack or tip and which one you're going to try first. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, that's how I'm able to gauge if you guys want more content like this. I do have more tips that I can share. So let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and commenting down below. And as always guys, don't forget, be you, be beautiful, be chic on a budget. And just remember that it's always endless possibilities to whatever it is that your heart desires. So now I'm gonna challenge you guys to create a bathroom that you love. If you're willing to take that challenge, go ahead and click on the link down below so that you can get my free checklist and start your journey to a bathroom that you love. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next upload. Later.